Hello friends. Today we are going to read The Fish That Couldn't Swim. The author is Sara Gillard. The illustrator is Tulisezwe Mamba and the publisher is Book Dash. So let's read The Fish That Couldn't Swim. There once was a boy who could run and jump and climb. He could even make a noise like a seagull, but he couldn't swim. And oh, how he wanted to. So here's the boy and he could run, jump, climb, do everything else, but he couldn't swim and he really wanted to swim here you can see that he's sitting by the water and he wishes he could go in the water his dad is here catching fish and he can't go because he's scared of the water then one day he noticed a fish that couldn't swim either so one day what happened He's sitting here and he sees this fish. This fish can't swim either. So what do you think he does? He wanted to help the fish. So he takes the fish and what does he do with it? So he put it in the water And the fish came alive. Wow. Can you imagine? Wow. So this boy that can't swim, he sees this fish that also can't swim and he wants to help the fish. So he takes it and puts it in the water and the fish comes alive. Isn't that nice of the boy to help somebody do something that he can't do? But the boy also wanted to learn to swim. So now that the fish can swim, he is sad that he still can't swim. So the fish showed the boy how to put his mouth in the water and blow. That is a technique you use to swim in the water. So what is the biggest problem in the water? You can't breathe in the water, right? And so how do you breathe? You put your head up above the water and take a deep breath through your nose and then you put your head back in the water and you breathe out through your mouth. You blow bubbles through your mouth and the fish showed the boy how to do that. What fun they had. So now the boy and the fish are having fun in the bathtub at home. What happens next? The next day, the boy remembered what the fish had taught him. So the next day when the boy goes to the water, to the sea, he remembers, see the fish is blowing bubbles and the boy remembers that. So what does he do with it? He starts learning to swim. So here is his father helping him learn to swim and he's holding the boy because that's how you learn. You know, you have to have help to start, but here is the boy's fish and the boy's fish is having fun on his own, able to swim. And so the boy is learning to swim because the fish taught him. Isn't that great? So what happened here? The, the fish didn't know how to swim and the boy didn't either. But the boy helped the fish by putting the fish in the water. And then once the fish learned how to swim, once the fish came alive, the fish taught the boy. So if you help others, they might help you back. 
And so the boy who could run and jump and climb and even make a noise like a seagull learned to swim like a fish. So the boy until now, he could run, he could jump, he could climb, he could imitate birds like seagulls, he could make the same noises. Now he has learned to swim like a fish. Isn't that great? And here the boy and the fish are having fun. The fish is swimming. The boy is going in the boat because he doesn't have to be afraid of the water anymore. And here the boy and the fish are having fun swimming. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. Try these questions. What is the moral of this story? Would a fish really come alive like the story says? What do you think the author is trying to tell you using the fish?